Uh, Browns got a win. Uh, long time coming. It's a good time to do the interview yes. after a yes, win. Yes, yeah. yes, long, long time coming. <laughs> What, what were your impressions of, of Johnny Manziel and how the Browns pulled it out? Well, well, I'm impressed with Johnny. I think uh, Johnny's a talent. Uh, what uh, what I'd like to see is is the Browns take that square peg and put it in a square hole rather than try to make it fit in a round hole. And uh, he's a playmaker. We saw that early in the season against Tennessee, and uh, yeah, he did he did very well. Uh, I think. Uh, for getting a start there against uh, San Francisco. He had support with the offensive line as far as the run game and the protection. And th that's what any quarterback needs is, is a supporting cast. So I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful for Johnny. These next three games, the Browns are, are going to be looking for a few things. What are you looking for? What do you, what do you want to see out of Johnny in these last three regular season games? Well, what I want to see out of Johnny is continue that playmaking ability that he has. And, of course, again, he's going to need that support. He's going to need some time in the pocket. But when the play breaks down, as Brady Quinn said in Sunday's game, then the second play starts. You had to mention the Notre Dame guy. That's right. <laughs> so I want to see him with that quarterback. You rely on your quarterback to be a playmaker, and that's what I want to see out of Johnny. But out of the whole team, you want to see some toughness. You want to see some com competitiveness. I don't want to see him checking out because does, it's not, they're not going to make the play. Playoffs, uh, but I want to see him being competitive, and that starts with toughness. And uh, I like I like Coach Pett and what he's doing. And uh, you know he's going to need some time to build this uh, team. I mean, it's just a couple of years into his tenure, but I think they've got the right guy. They have the right guy. I think so. I think so. It, he's trying to build a culture up there, and I know, boy, they're they're they're, they're at the gate with the pitchforks and, and the torches, and they want him, uh, and they want somebody, and I don't blame them. I mean, it's been 15 years of misery, and, and I'm angry too. But you, we just got to get away from this revolving door of head coaches and, and keep our guy, have, have, have faith in him uh, that he's going to do the right thing. And he's building it. And I heard him talk when he first took the job. And he talked about toughness. He talked about intelligence. He talked about worth, work ethic. And that's what it's all about. And uh, you, there was potential there. We saw at the beginning of last year what they were able to do. And I think uh, if we get some consistency, especially at the quarterback position, we'll be fine. Manziel doesn't work out in these next three games. Do you go into the draft looking for a quarterback or the best player available? What do you do? Well, I think regardless of what happens in this last three games, I think you keep Johnny for another year. And, I mean, unless something just drastically falls apart and, and, and you know, maybe something happens on the field or, or off the field, that you've got to go a different direction. Yes, you need a quarterback. Uh, and I think you go after the kid from Me Memphis. I think his name is Paxson yes, Smith. Yes. Yeah, you, yeah, you go after that kid. Uh, you need a quarterback, and I think you probably saw this the other day in, in the media uh, outlets that y y with quarterbacks going down left and right in the NFL, just not lasting very long, you've got to have two quality quarterbacks, and certainly you've got to have one. So I think you've got to go with the quarterback. Okay, prediction. Uh, last three games, tough games. Seattle, Kansas City, Pittsburgh at home. How do the Browns make out? Well, well that's, uh, I, I wouldn't be surprised if the Browns didn't win any of the, the games okay. going on three. Okay. If they win one of the games, and we're looking at three playoff teams, that would be outstanding in my opinion because now you're playing at a time of year where teams need to be playing their best and you're going to be playing playoff teams. And how do you measure up against playoff teams? And it's a great measuring stick. So if they're competitive in the games, to me, that's a win. If they win one of the games, that's outstanding. And I know one game you'd like them to really win. Right, wait, wait, that's Pittsburgh last game. Oh, without a doubt, I, I would love to see that happen. Uh, and you know, that's that's possibility, uh, and especially at home, the last game of the year.